Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 10th of 2024 is titled The Light, the Dark, and the Dusty Triffid. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Triffid Nebula, also known as Messier 20. And it is about 5,000 light years away in the direction towards the center of our galaxy. And that is in the constellation of Sagittarius. Now this is actually a star forming region and we see the three different types of nebulae that we often see in astronomy. So the three primary types associated with the star forming region would be an emission nebula first of all. That would be the reddish glow that we see around here. The red glow is the light from hydrogen. Now hydrogen is the most common element in the universe making up about 90% of all atoms in the entire universe. The red glow is when those hydrogen atoms are excited. So ultraviolet light from a star can rip electrons off of the hydrogen atoms ionizing them. And then when they recombine that will give us a distinct red color. That's one of the energies one of the specific wavelengths that is given off in that case. So we see that distinct red glow here and we can see that and that is caused by emission. Now we also can see reflection in the blue glow. The blue is caused by dust. Dust around hot stars will scatter the light from them and give us what we call a reflection nebula. Now it's called a reflection nebula because it does exactly that. It reflects the light of the star. So why does it look so blue? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, the stars that are there are very hot, young blue stars. So they're emitting a lot more blue light than red light, which makes them look blue. And in addition, the dust grains are much better at scattering the shorter wavelengths. The blue light is much better scattered and appears to come from all directions, whereas red light would pass right through the dust. So that's similar reason, although different types of particles as to why our sky is blue. The blue light comes from all directions and gets scattered out from all of the sunsets and sunrises around the globe. And the red light comes straight through giving us the red and orange glow we see of the sun at sunrise and sunset. Now the third type of nebula is the dark nebula that we see here. The darker regions are actually denser concentrations of dust that are blocking out the light from behind it. So that's where we have a little excess material. That's where stars are currently in the process of formation. So the emission nebula and the reflection nebula are where stars have already formed. The dark nebulae, that's where stars are still forming right now. So these are denser knots of material. And in those densest knots at the center of them would be what we'd call a protostar, a star in the process of formation. So still collapsing down, it has not yet reached that central temperature that is hot enough for it to be able to fuse hydrogen into helium, which is the key characteristic that makes Make something a star. So here in the Triffid Nebula today we get to see all types of those nebulae. The emission nebula in red, the reflection nebulae in blue, and the dark nebulae, the dark dusty regions there as well. So that was our picture of the day for August 10th of 2024. It was titled The Light, the Dark, and Dusty Triffid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be animation in space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.